When we interviewed Phil Donahue, he told us that he had heard your talk net show. And that's what put me, uh, yes. Uh, there's one other thing that should be included here. I'm on NBC radio, and it was contract time. And by then I had an agent who went to NBC and asked for a raise. And the man at NBC, the suit, said, if the broad doesn't want to do the show, we'll get another broad. Now, he made two mistakes, three mistakes. It was the number one show in the country on radio. Number two, the man, the agent he told it to was a feminist. And number three, just by that comment alone, the broad wasn't going to work for him anymore. Because I had, for the first time in my life, something that I had never had before, and that's power. And I could, for the first time in my life, say, adios, NBC. Sorry, we'll never meet again. And we didn't because they, as I said, sold themselves out for uh, who's going to be the best quarterback this year. Of course, you don't remember the best quarterback last year, but that's my putting down sports broadcasting. Yes, indeed. Phil Donahue is in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and he hears the show. And he tells Walter Bartlett of um, Multimedia um, that, and at the same time, Burt Dubrow, who is working on a Bob... Bob... Braun? Braun show, says Bob Braun is gone for a week vacation, use this woman on radio. Now, in those days, they didn't realize radio was radio and television is television. It's very hard to be on good on radio and television. Uh, on the left hand, I can count the number of people who could do it. it they're such different disciplines that nobody, there's no crossover. Larry King is a crossover, but there are no other, and Gene Shepard, no, he never made television. There are just very few crossovers. Um, of course, somebody will write me in which ones they are, but right now in my head, not a lot of thinking. Um, the Bob Braun show, where I replaced him, an awful thing happened. They fired him and gave me his job. Now, I tried like hell not to take his job. First of all, I was earning enough money on radio. I was by far the highest paid person on radio at that time. Suddenly, uh, I would say that until that time, I'd never earned over 20000 a year for anything. So you do what makes you happy and eventually the money comes, which is a good lesson. But I didn't want them to fire him. However, I had no control. So it was either take the job or somebody else takes the job. So I took the job and it was in St. Louis, Missouri where they owned a station. And they owned about five other stations in near the St. Louis area. So we went on six stations. And then uh, they began to sell to other stations. And that was the beginning of uh, the Sally Show. 